from Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. With the surge in hospital admissions brought about by the global COVID-19 pandemic, the Gauteng Department of Health and Infrastructure Development embarked on a project to increase its ICU capacity through a national refurbishment and additional build program. Enza Construction was commissioned to complete the design and construction of the new Barra 500 COVID-19 facility. Crema Media contributing editor Donna Slater tells us more. Enza Construction was awarded the accelerated tender to build the 500-bed RCU hospital in grounds adjacent to the Chris Hani Baraguanath Hospital in Soweto. Having completed the hospital within six months, Enza Construction Executive Director Clinton Crowey tells us about how the project came about and the tender process. The project initially had a, had a, had a, had a five-month uh, contract period. We managed to finish it in, in six months. Um, most of the, the delays were up front were the, were the site services based on the rock and stuff like that. So there were legitimate extensions at the time which were granted. So we pretty much finished it within, within uh, the, the contract period as, as required by, by the GDID. The tender came out in June 2020. Um, to provide a design and construct facility for a 500-bed ICU uh, facility. Um, and we had a tender period of just over one week. Um, the brief was, yeah, 500-bed ICU facility um, on a design and construct basis. We had uh, probably two weeks to design the facility, get it approved, and then construct, const uh, start construction on the bulk earthworks which we then started on the 3rd of July, 2020. The new hospital is set to take over from the Nasrick Field Hospital, which is presently being dismantled and moved to the Barra 500 Hospital. The construction of the hospital presented some challenges, needing to be planned and undertaken during South Africa's first wave of COVID-19. Crowey details the phrased approach taken. Initially, there were, there were three sites which were identified and because of the logistics of getting everything onto one uh, specific site, this site was chosen. Unfortunately, this site had, had the most rock. I think there were 53,000 cubes uh, in total from a cut and fill operation, of which I think there were 25,000 uh, cubic meters of rock, which uh, most of that had to be, to be drilled and blasted. And that whole operation for the earthworks took uh, just over four weeks. There was a phased approach um, for, for the 500 beds. There were, there were 20 modules, each of 25 beds each. Um, the, first, the first 150 beds was handed over at the end of October. And then there were another 200 beds which were handed over in December. And then I think the last 150 beds were handed over at the beginning of February. During the pandemic, as I said, we, we were after the initial first wave. Um, all the COVID pro protocols were in place. Um, there were initial challenges, um, getting subcontractors on board and getting everybody through the, the, the COVID protocols. Um, I guess fortunately at that point in time, uh, the construction industry had come to a grinding halt. So the subcontractors had, had lots of resources available because they had stopped on other projects. And, and during, during that period of time, I think as I said, we were fortunate enough to have subcontractors available and yeah, they, 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 they generally, we had three shifts um, of eight hours each, um, working seven days a week for, for 80, 90% of, of the contract period. And I think that, that allowed us to, to, to complete the project in, in the six months that, that, that we were given. The speed at which, at which the project was, was designed uh, and, and started and, and constructed is a testimony to, to what can be achieved uh, from government. Decisions were made very quickly in terms of the approval by government uh, and, and the officials. And the fact of doing a, a turnkey EPC contract where designs are approved up front um, is testimony to what, what can be done and, and delivered in, in a short period of time. Um, payments were, were done in, 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 a, in a two week cycle and payments were all on time and stuff like that. So it really is, is from our point of view, a very successful project and where you got government and the private sector working together, I think it's really a positive spin on, on what can be achieved. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. 
And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter. Thank <laughs> you.